Can't I? What? What did the two of you do? Unlimited imprisonment. How does that, that do you, any of that at this point? You inherited everything from the Vildor of Fake and now I have the ultimate skill, Yoel, which includes all unlimited impl- imprisonment. Papa and I don't have, en- have enough magic right now to beat Mother. We can po- stop the Vildor inside of you. It's a sh- strategy only Shinza and I can pull off uh, since our souls are lived. I tied as father and daughter uh, as many times as it takes. Every time you try to wreak havoc on this world, Shinza and I are going to stop you. I never knew a parent and child could be this close mother. If it's power you need, then with the three of us together, why you want us all to live as strong, uh, live and be strong together. No thanks, Can't me, count me out. I've been locked up for 300 years. You really expect me to stay tied down in some, in one place with other people? As long as you have uh, unlimited imp- imprisonment, I can't go over there and I don't intend to either. Just don't get involved with me anymore. That's not fair. You are not being fair. That's one, too selfish. Then you tell me not to leave your side until you woke up. That was just to make sure I could overcome the evolution to Demon Lord as mother and daughter. So, so, mother, let her go for now. Don't worry, she she just got here letting her go on a trip won't do any harm. Yeah, I have a hunch she'll come back eventually after she gets to see more of this world. You just watch one day, we'll have Iris uh, asking to live with us, so do you think you can lend me a hand too? Or will Card some other will want to come back way away? Those spoiled slimes, they want it all the way. Fine, if they are going to be like that, then I don't see why I can't do the same. We are back, everyone. I'm glad to see you both safe and sound. Is this before I left? I asked them to have the usual welcome ready since I'd be coming home with a new family member. Is also Papa's. <laughs> That's how I feel about them. When I decide to take someone in, they become family in my eyes. Even though you are not blood... Related by blood, those people are all Papa's family. Yeah, this is your home now. My house is here too, so don't get any ideas about keeping all of it all to yourself anymore, okay? This place feels warm and fuzzy and exciting. One day, please let Mother join us. We'll walk towards building a nation where she'll want to live one day. Now that I'm finally free, what do I want to do? I I guess I don't have to spend my life having to look at uh, people who don't like themselves anymore, right? Is this really the face of a woman who had her greatest wish come true after waiting 300 years? It's no good, my face gets all stiff, fine in that case. Why don't I start by looking for a place where I can genuinely laugh and from my heart. That's right, there's there's no one here. Talk about an embarrassing soliloquy. To be continued. Chapter 21, False Lord Briggle, from peak to peat, pit, 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 pit. (laughs) 
Why didn't I notice? Normally, if there was a mirror in front of you and you saw someone else was else's reflection in it, so you would think there was another world inside the mirror, right? The space where you stay in is reality, and the world inside the mirror is an illusion. As far as back as I can remember, I knew that I was the one trapped in the mirror. I could tell the difference between the worlds inside and outside. I wonder why. How was I born? Maybe I should try and find out my roots, where it all began. Let me dig in. By all means, I'm a bit nervous though. Don't worry, Shinza. I tasted it, remember? Wow, this is delicious, Shinza. It's so g uh, hard getting just the right amount of flavor into stews and soups. And yet, you did it perfectly. What a relief, your incredible Shinza. You practice and practice and to perfect the dishes that I showed you. And that makes me all the more eager to teach you. Uh... I don't, I don't recommend it. Why? You, you want me to rely on my own? On what? I thought something smelled good, so it's Shuna's cooking class. Oh, it's you, Benny Mario. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to freak out again. Don't worry, you almost got killed by an imposter before, so it's only natural that you would be nervous. We ourselves have no knowledge of it, but Lady Shinza, do you really have no recollection of having encountered me? Probably not, but it feels like a little deja vu, like maybe I'm, I have met you before in the dream. Oh man, that's a classic, especially how she said it so seriously. Then at least allow me to call you Miss Shinza. Uh, in return, Miss Shinza, please call me Butler instead of Butto. But, but, lo, oh, did I trip over my words? Yeah, totally, by the way. I remember you asking her the same question before. Diablo, why are you so concerned about whether you, you have met Shinza before or not? It's just that the concept of having memories erased rather than simply forgetting something, I find it so strange. It does appear to be a slime unrelated to Master. Wonder if this should be really be erased. Even if it's all water under the bridge now, I still wouldn't like it if someone introduced to me by Great Rumuru was to remember that I once tried to eliminate them. I can maybe imagine a Shinsa that I first met losing against my imposter, but not with her current strength. She did get stronger by sharing magicals with me during our fight with Iris. I shouldn't have reminded you about fighting your mother. It's alright, mother wanted to be free and I got in here. Her way, it's only natural. And it wasn't your fault. I'm sure that mother must, uh, she must hate me. That's why she, no matter how welcome in this town became, come, be, this town's become, uh, mother still won't come to see me. That's the case, then she must hate me even more. I guess it takes more than a welcome in town to get Iris to open up. I have no idea. All I know is that she wanted to get out of the mirror. What about you, Shinza? You lived with her. Do you know what she likes? Was always contemplating ways to escape to the outside so when we lived together she was usually quiet and lost in thought thought the best way to get someone to like you was to get to know them better but Joel and I was staying in the kingdom in Gracia I recall some information regarding the individual Iris from a report that you were reading well, I guess it must have been one of those reports that I only, I only took a quick glance at. Would you like me to forward you the information? Wait a second. Uh, I'm going to generate a report that could tell us something about, about Iris.
Dismal Dock. Let's get the team going. That's the team. So it's a report on the place where wishes witches need to live based on the geological features and the remnants of the interiors inferiors of the houses it can be assumed that the village is approximately 300 years old and the forest rest of this country that's not that far right even i can understand the keys on this map we all go used to live in this great forest before your arrival great to remove but i've never seen such a village well it still hasn't been found Going to the report, even though the person who cast it is now gone, a powerful barrier still protects the village to this day. And that barrier kept the village va veiled all this time. It's very strange. Not only does this barrier sound incredible, but the researchers must have been pretty skilled to be able to see through it and enter the village. That has become a huge mass of magic, magic energy strong enough to sustain the barrier. The appears to have been polished rigorously, and this stone was found to contain a ton of magic cools, so it must have been what was sustaining the barrier. The stone absorbing magic cools works in the same way as the magic gold. But why would such this black stone need to be polished so vigor vigorously? I read about it in the history book back in my old life. They probably polished the black stone to make a mew. After all, it's a hidden village in the woods, so they wouldn't have the means to purchase one from outside. Benny Mar Benny Maru's imposter was also called. He was called. Kokua you, which is another word for obsidian, considering that Iris named him, there's a small possibility that we may be onto something. She had been locked inside the mirror for 300 years, and this village that was inhabited by the witches is also 300 years old. Been polishing the obsidian and infusing it with the magic. They would make a mirror for practical reasons, but why would they need to infuse so much magic power into it? It was just magicals, but we were infused to, into them. I think they will. They may have done what was done to me. Infusing an artificial superior spear into the mirror, no, someone even stronger, an artificial someone fluffy. Spiritual being, being, in fact, when the individual Iris was still inside the mirror world, whole state could be classified as that of a pre-incarnate spiritual being. Now, the form we faced last time was an incarnated form that evolved into an awakened demon lord. So it was a spiritual being, then mother was the one in the obsidian mirror, probably. And the report provides circumstantial evidence that supports this hypothesis. Uh, blood, blood stains splattered in all directions will form found around the obsidian mirror. Someone got eaten by that mirror, and I bet it was the th those witches. She could have done it unknowingly, but I was probably named the fake Benimaru Kokuyo, since she herself was su summoned into a meal made of obsidian, also known as Kokuyo. Don't you think that's possible? That village is where mother was born. We are still doing a lot of hypothesizing and speculating, but it's worth uh, visiting to find out if we are right or not. I'd love to go. In fact, I'm definitely going. You can come with me, but give me a little time. I can't leave here just yet. I feel a huge presence approaching. This happens all the time. 
guess who's here to play? You ho ho, things are going gonna get tricky if I don't play with those, so wait here for a little while. Who's this slime? One incredible aura. She's on another level, and on top of that, maybe it's because she looks like Rumu, but I feel like I've met her somewhere. I can't remember, this is so annoying. It's a bit of a long story, but me too, I also feel like maybe I met this... May have possibly seen this girl somewhere. Well, Shinza may have seen Malim through the mirror. Wait, this is so frustrating. We should fight each other so that our bodies help us remember. We have to fight. I decline. Nope. But uh, then could we at least fight somewhere outside of the town? Papa is there anyway. Anyway. What? Anywhere where we can safely... <laughs> Blow things up. I feel like it, this girl could wipe out n the entire town just with her fists. I'll take you guys to a place we are playing on the Fosin. Who knew there would be someone other than Rumu to play with? Also, what did you mean, this girl? I'm older than you, you know? I guess I'll need to show off my powers to teach you a lesson. I'm gonna tag along Shinza has a unique fighting style worth watching. You'll head back to Falmouth. Oh, poor Diablo. I remember when we first met. She had no concern for the damage she caused to her surroundings, but thanks to the time she spent here and all the people she's met, she's going up to be a good, honest girl. Is it okay for me to base in here? Keep it flat. We won't be able to level the ground construction uh, otherwise. There's something born inside me. It wants to fight. What is this something? I'm still analyzing the data, but it seems a mystery. Seems like you have made up your mind. Give me your best shot. I grasp like gentle winds. You can block that one too. How fun the slimes around here are sure are fun. You're setting the bar too high. You can't expect the wild slimes out here. To be as strong as us, anyhow, this really is. I know Lady Malim is, isn't going all out, but even so, Shinza's parrying skills are incredible. Which area hasn't been this deforested yet oh, over there. Look at that, she's gotten wild, deflecting energy blasts towards areas that we are playing to deforestation. Doing that against Malim is truly something. So you can deflect single shots, but how about this? Drag, Drago Buster. Calm down, Malim. Get out of the way, Shinza. There's no way she can dodge all of those. Storm of, storm of energy blasts. Oh, the right side we have. I'm so scared I can't help but go to on the defensive, but I can if I clench my face, fist out of fear, I won't be able to hold anyone's hand. Hands are for holding, so be brave, open up your fist and reach out. A handshake. It weakened. That wasn't me. What did you do? Not just... The two-handed purgatory sh handshake does something in between the hands. It's a force field compressing the entire space has been generated in front of the individual shin sh in Shinsa. Is this the same block black hole she made with gluttony before? Palms together. That was delicious. The two-handed purgatory has pre- Asian predation effect. 
does it taste of anything? Of course, it doesn't taste of. It's more like a flavor than a taste. Malim's energy had a nostalgic flavor. Since uh, some partial similarities between the magicals of Veldoa Angus that once existed within the whole and the magic cools of the individual Malim Nova or Nava. Uh, I never sensed anything like that though. I assume that you have not had your experience of pre predating the Malim Nava's energy master. On top of that, powers that exist within the individual Shinza, which I have not yet finished analyzing, are having a strong reaction to the powerful magicals of Malim Nava. Even you haven't been able to analyze. That's what the great sage just said. So you can see it, Papa. Then maybe you can figure out something, figure something out when Mother became a demon lord. Number of human souls required to cause the seed to support has been met. Did it, wait, what? Wait, did that come from the worlds of the world? But why was it speaking to me? What's one, mother? Which one is the medicine cabinet again? And there was no medicine to cure the fully folly of one who seeks to be a demon lord mention that word too but what is a demon lord she's going to evolve into the demon lord upon completion gifts will be bestowed upon those connected to the said individual i thought i'd given something as a blessing but nothing really happened still i felt that there's something within me increased Ever since I encountered Malim, that something has been growing restless. What could be happening? You could have received some powers that you wished for. Did you wish for anything? There was no time for that. Mother couldn't get out, out of bed. I had got gotten so sleepy that I fell asleep. And when I woke up, that dragon trapped me in the, its stomach. And there was so much going on. It seems unlikely that you getting taken over by the fake Veldoa is related to the re reaction you had to Malim's magic tools. Uh, analysts uh, by a third party cannot be confirmed. Let's try to find out more about Iris since it was whole awakening that gave you a blessing. Do you know? Do you feel better now that you have had your fun? And did you remember whether you, or not you have met Shinza? I was fighting the whole to try and remember. It was so fun, and I totally forgot about that. You forgot about forgetting. Shinza started calling me by my name instead of that girl, so I guess I taught her a lesson. So I don't care about whether or not we have met before. To help with the deforesting, that I completely forgot about all that. But boy, I never thought you had the skills to fight creatively against Malim like that. When I first fought Malim, I gave her some honey and we became friends. After all that exercising is making me hungry, I want a meal and then a hot spoon bath. Come on, let's head back to town. She's barely tired at all. The speed at which she's going is incredible. For Iris, she was about the same level as half awakened demon load claiming, but now she's clearly she's stronger than that, but she hasn't awakened. It's not like she's been trained by Hakuru or that there was an event that increased her magicals during the time she spent here. Makes sense to assume that the, those unknown powers within Shinza are about to blossom. She shows a mysterious girl. And seeing how she's going, she definitely won't be use her blossom powers for evil. She should be able to handle Iris too. I'll help you out. So
I had a lot of tweets, a nice bath, and now I'm feeling good. How come you only went to the men's bath today? That's because even though I'm a journalist, I call myself whole fathers. So I feel uneasy about entering the woman's bath when my so-called daughter's in there. I think it's a little too late for that. What do you mean? I once peeked, uh, snicked a peek and saw Shion and Shuna fading all over you in the sh- uh, woman's bath. Seriously, when did you know? Let's talk about that somewhere. Some, let's talk about something else, by the way, Milim. Uh, you must have skipped you studies to come here, right? But f- Frey and Kayon are busy dealing with the imposters right now, so they won't mind. What? Can you tell me more? Apparently there are these guys who look like just like Frey and Kayon who are showing up all, uh, in all sorts of places. We could in Leanthropopes Le- Le- and Majin who make mistake them for the real ones. Suppose there are means to copy the appearance, but if even the margin are being fooled, then that means that these impostors possess the same amount of magicals. That's why they are extra concerned. That said, Faye's always so nosy, so she will probably come pick me up soon. I better be going. Make sure you get him stronger by the next time we meet, so that we can entertain me more. She said imposters, yeah, it's hard to not to come to the same conclusion based on that what happened before. So you think it's mother again? I've got a feeling but that I Iris might not be behind it, but why? I've fought so many imposters that Iris corrected created. The one thing I do know is that Iris can't generate an imposter who's as strong as the demon lord. She succeeded in creating a fake demon lord geld. But she shouldn't be able to create something stronger than that in the in the class of the ten de- great demon lords. Sure, there was the fake claiming, but that was both from the perpetual motion generated by the loop loop, uh, a tower of infinite mirrors. That place can't be controlled controlled even by Iris herself, but it can be generated. Generate copies of incredible powerful demon lords, however, though those copies can't escape from the mere world. That's why I find it hard to believe that the imposters of Frey and Carrion were created by Iris. Went back to the mere world and cre- fake Malim's acquaintances. If she used that Almathea, a skill that she learned last time. That can create a universe within the mirror with whatever whole, whatever laws of physics you desire. I guess that could even create a copy of one of the fo- former members of the Ten Great Demon Lords. But would she really go back to the mirror world when she was so de- desperate to get out of it? Since she couldn't create a higher class demon lord on her own, she tried to turn you into a awakened demon lord. And then, because she had been gathered, she had been gathering sacrifices. She also, she herself awakened. Okay, imagine a world create. She would create a fake and fake a fake of another demon lord when she herself has torn into an awakened demon lord. I feel sort of relieved to know that Mother wasn't behind it. I'd also be sad if everyone thought Mother was the culprit, even though she's innocent. This is really worrying. We better not just head to Iris' home, t- Iris's hometown, but actually meet her once in, p- in person again. Aha, I bet. All right, how's this for a plan? We head to the village mansion in the report. That we suspect is Iris's hometown, a- and if we are able to learn more about Iris, then next we'll find her through sheer determination. Since I'm guessing 
that she's still roaming around this world somewhere. Once we find her, we'll take her back to our hometown, her hometown, and show her that the village is now basically just ruins. When she sees her one down old home, since she doesn't want to go back into the mirror world, she'll want to settle down somewhere else she finds most comfortable. That would be Tempest's mother uh, could come live here. I'm so excited I won't be able to get any sleep probably. But every time you make plans, something always has to fuck up. Ah, that was sudden. What's the occasion? I'd come to visit you any time, regardless of the occasion. Is this a uh, thin a Pegasus? It's beautiful. He gave her a second and third look. Gazelle has incredible perception and can see right through people. Explain yourself. Who's this girl? She looks just like you. If you had gone done... Down a completely different pa path of evolution. I'll decide whether she's worthy of my kindness. Draw your weapon. I don't have one. Then borrow one from Mumuru and face my sword. Take this sword, use it to show him that you are just as friendly slime with no malice. Then uh, that I wonder myself. This is when I first faced him, no matter what angle I swung my sword from, he peered everything without moving an inch. On the other hand, Shinza has already battled with Iris and Malim. You're right, I didn't meet Malim until after my battle with Gazil. You could say that she is versatile, but the truth is that she's all it's all random. Her style doesn't match any school of swordsmanship and her shakes bear no resemblance to existing techniques. In fact her fighting style is basically just someone hitting the opponent with a long steel weapon. Her style belongs to no school of swordsmanship, but I must admit that it is genuinely strong. He's grinning. This is an extra skill of heroic presence. Unless she dispels it through shield determination, she won't be able to. It had no effect on her. I was able to overcome it because of Great Sage told me that I just needed to use the termination to dispel it. But I still couldn't move for a few seconds. There's no way she could have asked the Great Sage how to dispel it. The only way to dispel the individual Gazelle Drago's heroic presence is through sheer determination. You only just found out how to overcome it. I have got uh, to search this whole world for uh, my mother through sheer determination, so I have been full of determination since last night. I don't know the details, but it seems that she defe defeated my skill using strength of, of mine. How are you to witness such raw power? You two, you two can rely on me whenever you want. I want you to make her wishes come true. That's what I was intended on doing. It uh, fine and captured the imposter of mine who's been causing trouble recently. Apparently, not only does he ju look just like me, he is also very strong. The citizens of my si nation haven't been deceived by by Joves living a abroad have been mistaken the imposter for me. What the what he does with the men he convinces and convinces to go pillaging and burning down villages like bandits. How dare he he disgrace us at Joves? I said that I would visit you any time regardless of the occasion, but given the current situation, I can't leave my nation for very long. So you can't visit us unless it's a real emergency, and that emergency is right now. 
I intend to dispatch a survey corpse from our nation, but there's something else that can, concerns me. As well as my apostle, there's a rumor that demon lord like figures have joined the bandits. Is that so? I'm glad you shared that with me. So there might be demon lord like figures involved. If that's the case, then the size of the survey corps will have to adjust accordingly. I better rec reorganize my troops. Not at all, we will go on to start look for the co case of the imposters as well. I'm glad to have heard from you. Okay, I'll contact you if we find anything. Good, I'm counting on you. Farewell. Copy of the Jolfkin, huh? Could Iris have created it since it's not a demon lord? No, there's no way she would go back from into the mirror she hates so much. Let's go immediately, Papa, to the witch vis village. Yeah, it's not too far away, so we could probably use teleportation. Please take care. Cooking or bayonet hunting, which should I help with? You know, I'm skilled at both. You you really only have w one choice. Due to process of elimination, I want you to drive away the bayonets trying to enter our country. We know for the fact there are more... Of them gathering in the nearby woods. Leave the investigation to me and Shinza. You guys focus on protecting this land. I'm counting on all of you. Understood and good luck. Let's go Shinza. Armored reinforcements. Going to the map, it, it is this way. I totally missed it before. After all, we were barely ever walk, we ever we barely walked through this area. You know, we didn't feel any magic power, even though there was a barrier surrounding it. I can't believe that such an advanced barrier has existed since three hundred years ago. That could also mean that this place was advanced enough to have given birth to Mother Right. It's almost too advanced for this. It's time, kind of like. An out of place artifact. We should be nearing the barrier now. Barrier on the verge of fading out. It's easy to enter, but if you are unprepared, you'll lose your sense of direction and be forced to walk away from the village. Just as I was entering the barrier now, I felt a tiny bit of resistance, kind of like a curtain. I guess the barrier still has a little bit of eff its effect remaining. This is one of those secret places that you, you, you would never find if you, you just went out about your life normally. But how can come I can feel so much hostility in the air? We are surrounded, aren't we? M my intruder's detect detection ability says to be the maximum alert. It will be impossible to perform a surprise attack on them. Armored reinforcements go... Hold on, we are not here to fight. We just want to visit the ruins up ahead. But as soon, but as you have probably already figured, we are stationed here to, in order to not let any even a single rat through. Therefore, I ask that you leave. Yes, there's no negotiating with you. All right, we are gonna have to do this the rough way. Lord's ambition, damn it. We got luck, unlucky, but it gives me a, even more of a reason to not let you guys through. Only made them flinch a little. They must be really well trained. Plus, they are all equipped, uh, well equipped as well. What nation are you soldiers from? Your armor looks pretty formal, but I'm gonna guess that you're either mercenaries or those bandits in the rumors. I mean, you guys all have the same armor, but inside it, I see lean, the shops, margin, and droves. I've never seen in any army. Uh, made up of such diverse range of species other than ours. So you see right through the armor, huh? On top of that, all your species are rumored to be behind this recent lutins. You are hiding the unique characteristic of each a species by all wearing the same armor. Most people would be confused, but you can't fool us. We can see right through you. Let's stun them nice and swiftly. I don't want anyone hurt or dead. Is that okay? That's what I was thinking. 
you look like you don't expect to lose. After all, it's obvious that you guys have the superior fighting ability. However, you have got agility, but if your quick sword skills are all you have got, I can just pay them like this. Papa, don't worry, I'm fine. That one pushed them back. They have got both good sword skills and good magic skills. But more importantly, where did you get such good swords from and how did you acquire such magic power? And most of all, you are using teleportation magic inside your armor, swapping places to you as you fight. You taught, who taught you such this, this, this dexterous uh, fighting skill? Enough with the question, you would think I'd reveal anything to you? It, he's behind me, my universal detect didn't work, I can't believe it. And then we entered at uh, high speed using lanthropop chop uh, agility. That was too skillful. When they cast magic, they are margin, so they are constantly swapping places inside the armor. Formative. All the, they're all they all three are repeatedly teleporting inside the armor. So whether they are attacking or moving, they are teleporting with the same poses as the counterparts. Shinza, even though you have pain nullification, don't get hit by the attacks. I. No, you want to neutralize them without holding them, but don't hesitate to go all out if things get tough. Shinza, send these three guys. No, send these three trios towards me, but then they would gain up on you. Gain up on me? Ha, huh. well, I guess you are right, but that's all part of the plan. Do it. Even on her own, her strength and mobility and magic powers on a, another level. It ain't easy th taking on a demon lord. You have got it wrong. Shinza may be as strong as a demon lord, but she isn't one. What? I'm the demon lord, so what are you going to do? Like I said, I don't intend to, on killing you guys, but if you continue to fight. You have been training alongside demon lords too, and why? To master combination attacks in order to eliminate enemy demon lords. Wait a second, you guys, training with Lord Carry On, Lady Frey, and receiving a th soul that can even take out a demon lord. All that tough training we went through was in order to kill monsters like this. I thought there might be clues out uh, here in this village, but it seems we have struck gold. You, are you masters Carry On, Frey, and maybe King Gazelle? These three that you worship are imposters. I know the real ones. Personally, the fake demon lords and Gazelle are tricking at different races like you guys to make you follow those. He still sure claims to have a lot of famous friends. Whether that you say is the truth or not, it doesn't change the fact that you guys are enemies. I reckon you wouldn't listen to me. You're fine. I'll just they control space. I see. I guess t with that, when they go for the strike, it's still the Leanthropotrope inside the armor. Then, at the moment of impact, they s try to switch positions with the drill, waiting somewhere else. The monster, the moment they teleport, the armor becomes empty for a split second. So, if I interrupt the teleportation at the exact moment with control space, I can leave all of the guys switching in and, and, and out back in the standby area, wherever that may be, and we will be left with empty suits of armor. So that that's why you told me to send those guys towards you. I thought that digging through Iris's past would lead us to clues regarding the imposters, but we ended up encountering the followers instead. 
There's no way we are turning back now, but don't forget that there are probably still enemies out there. I'm sure we won't lose, but don't let your guard down. Demon Lord Dusk. How strange we haven't encountered any enemies since those soldiers. But what's with the other strange feeling? It's like they are close, but at the same time, they are really far away. I can sense that too, but I can vaguely, vaguely sense some other presence as well. But I cannot sense any other bio bio biological reactions in the area. So you are the presence that I have been sensing. The fact that you are not hiding your aura tells me that you don't rely on cunning tricks like those mercenaries. I felt that Lord's ambition you showed our man. I could feel it ne re reverberating all the way from here. It seems like I can defeat you in a battle. What? It will be able to. I will be able to reach higher heights. I guess there's no change in your mind, huh? You won't change my mind. I have been given orders by the hero kin to not let anyone pass. You know the guy you think is the hero kin is the imposter, right? I'm serving the man who, to me, is the hero kin. I serve him knowing that he takes on the physical form of Gazelle Jogo, but in a, in a different person. The first time that I met him and he recruited me, I actually mistook him for the real kin. But him being an imposter is more convenient for me. So you can see you wait through my armor. Well, that doesn't matter. I can. I was once a craftsman in Drogon, but I had a dream that I couldn't abandon. Uh, I admired him and his great valor. I wanted to master the sword just as much as I wanted to perfect my skill as a craftsman. And I wasn't financially fortunate enough to be able to walk both paths. That's why I left my homeland, and everywhere I roamed, I would find swordsmen and challenge them to duels. I lived by the sword. Each battle was one of life or death, and I always took the lives. My quest for knowledge led to a path of endless blood. Even women or children, as long as they had weapons, I'd kill them and i loan from all the equipment I looted, like you loaned from a textbook. I heard about your triumph of, at Falmouth, remove Tempest, I guess we are birds of a feather. No, actually, you have killed way more people than I could ever dream of. So you know who we really are, and about the li lies we spread to the people you Intel seems better than the average military. This is going to be a real nuisance. Kill 10,000 people, then all those people are going to a sad place. They're all going to together so they won't be lonely. We already read this, didn't we? Didn't I say I was going to have you do the same thing your papa did? Was the one responsible for the mountain of corpses you saw that day? And it only took him a second. Your papa killed 20,000 people. If you really want to save someone important to you, you have to sacrifice 10,000 times more strangers in no place. Both me and Papa have committed acts that we are not proud of, things we will never be able to make up for. But that's why I want to save as many people as I can, more than the number of people we had to sac be sacrificed. I can't walk that path, that's why I decided to solve the fake and I did once try to change my mind ways, but I knew that I could never return to my homeland. 
I was exiled from my country for being a murderer and a sinner and for bringing shame to the jail face. That's why I jumped the, at the opportunity when I was recruited by a man who looked identical. Rather than the hero king who is out of my reach, this fake king gazelle with whom I can walk the path of evil is much more suitable. That's my attention. I'll study new ways to kill them. I'll loot their equipment and study new ways to refine their weapons. Hey Shinza, I need you to hear me out. You have to let me take the him on. Also, I can borrow that sword. Sure, this is this, but this shelf is much stronger than those mercenaries. Don't worry, I learned how to fight with swords just now. I'll leave it to you. A little girl who doesn't even possess her own sword wants to have a duel. So you paid it, but you didn't strike back, so I'm guessing that you haven't learned my counterattacks, if that's the case. I wonder how long you can sustain my attack. How could this be the way you p parry? It's just like I've spent countless y uh, years honing my skills through my killing spree. And yet, even I don't possess the skill to, to wield my sword like Gazel. I just met him earlier today. You know the real Gazel? Uh, I sparred with him. That's all it took for you to learn his moves. I'm not, I'm not surprised that she may have the skills to instantly intimidate, imitate uh, an enemy's defense. But she just... She isn't just Im imitating the king's pace every time my sword clashes with her. It's as if the blade speaks to me. It's like she's reached the limits of not just the sword skills, but swordsmanship itself. Really show reality shows cool. I have spent all these years walking the path of evil, only to be overtaken by a girl who just started... Walking the path of righteousness today. Have you had enough now? We have got some great business to take of, take of, uh, take care of. Will you let us do? That was close. All I could do was imi Im imitate. That was impressive. You managed to convince him that you hadn't mastered G Gazelle, Gazelle's parries, and by doing so, you made him lose the will to fight. You managed to get us to without holding anyone. Pretty remarkable. Now let's go explore Mother's homeland. So this is the rich village, huh? It's all in ruins, and but there are no houses to shelter in. I'm sure that if I was sorry in this state, she would want to find a more habitable place. Habitable, habitable, uh, habitable. Uh, what was that? It came from that way, but I didn't sense any presence. Uh, mother, what the heck is going on? Well, shit. 